All right, tomorrow I am targeting flounder and redfish. We're gonna go to my honey hole and we're gonna be targeting these ditches that drain because I looked at the tide for tomorrow and the tide movement looks really good, like a good outgoing tide. But anyways, I'm gonna be throwing this little lure right here. If you guys don't know, this is the little flats bug. This model that I'm holding is a black and gold. This is actually the 1 16th ounce. It's a really, really small micro lure. This is what we call BFS. Well, the Japanese call it BFS, but here in America, we just call them micro lures or crappie <laughs> lures, I guess. But uh, in order to throw this, this micro lure here, you need the proper equipment. So I'm gonna be using this bad boy right here. This is a Daiwa Steez Air. This is a brand new model from Japan. This is what they call a BFS reel. And it's designed to throw small little micro lures like this. Because if you look at the spool, look how shallow that is. But in order to throw the micro lures on a proper reel like this, you need the proper line. So we're gonna be using this bad boy right here. This is the Varva Saltwater Finesse. This is specifically designed for small little lures like this little bugs. And the line is so thin. If you can read it right here, this is a 0.4 diameter or gauge, 9.2 pounds of test. I mean, this thing is like thinner than dental floss. I mean, it's so thin. And I am going to spool it up with this bad boy right here. And I'm going to show you what it looks like because this is the reason why I'm really happy to show you guys this Veravas product right here because this is their top of the line saltwater finesse line. And I'm really, really looking forward to using this because Veravas in Japan, they have a lot of pride in this sp specific model here because they are the ones that actually started the small little micro BFS lure with the fishing lines in Japan. And this right here led the way. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on right here and show you exactly what it looks like on the reel. Look at that, doesn't that look sexy? Look at that white. I mean, this, this line is so small, that pack, this pack right here is 150 meters, which is probably right close to 160-ish yards of line. And I was only able to put half of it on this thin, really, really micro shallow spool here on this Daiwa Steez Air. And I'm gonna be pairing it up with this right here. This is the Veravas Light Game Shock Fluorocarbon Leader. It has the titanium coat on it. I mean, super, super strong, super thin. It's gonna pair really nicely with this right here. So I'm gonna be able to throw these small lures and I'm gonna be pairing it up on my suppressor, Old 18 Suppressor Ultralight Rod. I'm really looking forward to it, guys. If you're interested in this products right here, I'll have a link in the description box below. Uh, check it out for yourself. So you guys, stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally on the water, starting a little bit late. And as I stated in my intro, or my little brief intro, we're using the micro lure today just to show you guys what it takes to catch big redfish, hopefully big redfish on a micro micro um, setup just like this. So right now I'm seeing if I can sight cast. If not, we'll, we'll keep blind casting or we'll start blind casting. But I feel like there's some good fish out here. We just got to take our time and look for them. Just off the bat, when you have the right setup, you can throw freaking far. These small little light lures, I mean, they travel super far. See, oh, there we go. <laughs> Just like that, first red, side casted him. Oh, no, man, he let go. You know, actually, that might have been a flounder. <laughs> that was kind of funny.
There we go. That's a fish. Oh man, he let go. He let go. Don't know what that was. I think it was a small red. Oh dang, I just got bumped right there too. Yep, mud cloud right there. I think it's flounder. That's my guess. It's gotta be flounder. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we got something on there. Yep, flounder. I knew it. There we go. Right at that corner. Nice. Oh my gosh. Look at that on micro lures. Yeah, he's going to be a keeper too, folks. Check that out. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. The micro lures, man. I'm, the reason why I love fishing with micro lures is you're able to fish more pressured water and you catch a nice big fish like this. Look at that flounder. He's probably right at 15 inches. We're not going to keep this guy. He's, don't want to keep him in his borderline, but on the bugs, one 16th ounce flats bug. Caught him on the perfect equipment, man. Look at that. Booyah, baby. Thank you so much. I think I got a... Yep, he tore my tail off right there. Little one 16th ounce. Beautiful. You know what? Let's just measure him real fast. Yeah, 15 and a quarter inch. If I pinch his tail, yeah, way past 15 and a quarter. Thank you, my man. We're not going to keep you. You're a little bit too short because if you shrink, it'll be 15. That's game water territory. And there you go. All right. Like I said, guys, this is what I'm going to be using pretty much all day just to show you how accurate BFS and how much fun it is to catch all these fish. I got the old 18 Suppressor Ultralight RX Angler Edition. The Daiwa Steez Air TW. This reel is freaking... It's awesome, man. It's able to throw really small light lures with no problems. I got the... Uh, Veribus Saltwater Finesse PE. This is a 0.4 gauge. This is so thin, as you saw in my intro. So thin, so strong. Almost 9 pounds of test. I got here 8 pounds of fluorocarbon Veribus Shock Leader right there. It matches really nice with the Veribus Saltwater Finesse line. And I got the 1 16th ounce Flats Bug with the trailer in. I gotta change it out because that flounder tore it up. But yeah, I mean, you saw in the video how accurate I was shooting these lures at the corners apex is throwing it without any issue i mean it's so lightweight so much fun and when you hook a big one it's a lot of fun <laughs> we gotta throw accurately though at these apexes here oh there we go see small little trout nice all right hey i'll keep it i'll take it <laughs> look man micro lures are so much fun you catch so much fish it could be big ones, it could be small ones, it don't matter. Fishing is fishing. You're a beautiful fish. <laughs> Another one? Another small little trout. Hopefully that was not the same one. Yeah, they're sitting at this drain right here. I don't blame them. I'm trying to pick off the bait. There you go. Another one. This is a little bit larger trout. Oh, he's a small red. He's pulling that drag, folks. He's pulling that drag. Gosh, man. Oh, God, it's multi-spotter, too. Check that out. Oh, man, look at that tail. That's a beauty right there, folks. All right, guy, grow up to be a big one. There we go. That's a fish. Don't know what it is, but it feels like a flounder. Or a smaller red. Yeah, he's pulling some drag. Yeah, he's gonna be a smaller red. Oh, he might be he might be keep. Oh, there he goes. God, I didn't get a good hook set on that. <laughs> that was a nice fish though, I saw him. Yeah, he was probably about 19, pushing 20. Oh well, that's cool. Micro lure gets it done again, except my stupid hook set. <laughs> there we go, another one. This is going to be, what is this? Might be a drum. Oh, look at that. Nice little drum. 
you know, I'm not expected, I'm not surprised to see these guys back here in the deep mud in the back lakes. Look at that, but they fight pretty good, man. And catching them on a micro lure is just a bonus. Look at that, beautiful drum. <laughs> All right, my man, keep killing that. Sh oh my God, there's a big, big red right there. Big old red right here. Oh no, that's a gar. Look at this gar. Big old gar. We don't want him. There we go. That's a fish. Don't know what that is though. It feels like a trout the way it's shaking his head. Or it could be another small red. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am thinking these are all trout. Just shows how hard redfish fight. They feel like monster trouts. Getting bigger and bigger every single catch. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Nothing but big old dinks today, man. I'm telling you what. But it's encouraging to see speckled trout because they like salinity levels. But they're back. Look at that, man. He's all in the mud. But they're back here. Very encouraged to see that. So that tells me the salinity level, even though water levels are high, it's still not too bad. There we go. Oh, wow. That's a red. Yeah, that's a red. Wow, the way he's pulling. Give him some drag. <laughs> I saw something blow up there and threw it accurately where I needed to throw it. Got him. Hopefully we can get him in the boat first before he runs that way, which he is about to that's a nice red. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, shoo. I lost him. There he goes. Man, come on, buddy. Just makes fishing so much more pleasurable. Yeah, he's going to be probably right at the slot limit. Oh, beautiful redfish. That's what I'm talking about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I lied. He's going to be a slot red. He's probably going to be hitting right at the 21-inch marker. Look at that red right there, boy. Isn't that a pretty thing? Look at that. Blue tail. Got him on the micro. The small 16-ounce flats bug. <laughs> 20 and a quarter. <laughs> yeah, it's risking it, dude. <laughs> that's, no, he's a keeper, though. He is a keeper. On the, on the, uh, on the BFS, man. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. It, it, All right, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna let him go, though. There we go, that's a fish. That's another red. <laughs> Might be another donkey. Boy, he's pulling. Let's give him some drag. He's pulling pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gonna be another lower slot donkey. I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Woo, on the ultralight, golly. Man, makes fishing. Oh, so much enjoyable, but God, it gives your arm a good workout, that's for sure. Just a testament that ultralight fishing can get it done, folks. You can catch nice fish on ultralight fishing using ultralight gear. You just got to have the proper gear to make sure it doesn't break. The proper gear usually is going to give you that quality where you don't have to worry about breakage. All right, there we go. Oh, man, yeah, he's going to be another probably 21 incher. One here, buddy. Come on in here, buddy. Look at that. There you go, folks. Look at that. Another nice big donkey. The ultralight stuff. It's a lot of fun, man. I'm telling you guys, just need to try it out. Fighting these big fish. That's what fishing is all about. Just having fun, right? Yeah, you're going to be 21 and a half inch. You have nose on the board. 21 and a half inch. Another beautiful red. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my GoPro just froze on me, but. I was targeting that drain right there. You see all that current movement coming out using the uh, the micro lure, the flats bug. I changed it out to a new penny color. Got this, got this fella right here. He's probably going to hit 16, and we're probably going to keep this one right here. But that's 
the flounder we've been looking for, boys and girls. Look at that micro lure. Yeah, 15 and three quarters, pretty much almost 16 inches right there. Yeah, he's going in the he's going in the bag. We're gonna keep this fella here. <laughs> Man, they're loving this flats bug. Do you want to try to use the flats bug? Yeah, that's another puller. This one is going to be, a, I think he's going to be a donkey, the way he's just fighting. Ah, uh, he's borderline. <laughs> Still, nah, he's far from borderline. <laughs> oh yeah, nice fish. There you go, that's a nice fish. I mean, he may, he's probably like 19. Fought like it. Fought like a 21 incher. Thank you, buddy. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it quits. I started off late. I have some errands to run, so I'm going to head back. Head back home. I had a good time. Fishing is so much more enjoyable when you use those micro lures and micro ultralight setups. I mean, it just takes it up to a next level. I encourage you guys to try it out. If you haven't, don't worry. You can catch some big fish. You saw me today. I caught some pretty nice keepers and uh, really, really satisfied. Yeah, but that's going to be it. If you're interested in all the products I'm using, there's always a link in the description box below. Check it out if it interests you. But yeah, make sure you like, make sure you comment. I want to hear what you think. And that's going to be it, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.